was a good, so. Yeah, no, that's definitely good. Yeah. If I remember correctly, he was like he was in Tampa briefly. I believe so. Yeah. Like yeah. I think. So I feel like I remember seeing that on the Facebook page or like the Discord. It's one of those two. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. So definitely a really good Rosalina and Luma player, and I mean. His play style is really hard to penetrate. He plays super defensive, so... Mm -hmm. um, so similar to like what the Buzz does with his Rosa? Something like that? Just like a heavy wall, or um, it's, is it like a less calculated type of thing? It's more of a heavy wall. More of a heavy wall? Okay. So. More of a heavy wall. He plays super defensive. He lets Luma do pretty much all of the work for him. Um, and of course, if his opponents get close, he'll try to get an, um, a grab and throw them right back in there into Luma. So, okay. I, I mean, he plays super defensive and uses Luma 90% of the time. Okay. So uh, now getting to his opponent, it looks like we are having Strobix. Nice. Going I against him. am actually excited to see this. I'm so excited to see this too. Definitely a matchup you don't see all that often on the national scale. Uh, Rosalina versus uh, Gamewood. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen Strobix personally play. I don't think I've ever personally seen him play against a Rosalina. So this will be a first for me, to oh, see okay. how he deals with this. Um, I do feel like uh, Game Watch should have the tools to deal with Luma. I'm not sure which moves will take her out. I'm going to guess back here is going to be one of them, by him just throwing that out right there. Um, okay, so it actually doesn't knock Luma in. That's interesting. And Utopian Ray here actually playing a bit more aggressive against uh, Strobix, actually. Mm. So probably trying to feel him out. Trying to see what he does, but I mean, Strobix plays a very unconventional game in Watch, so yeah, no, it's like a, okay. definitely has a one of the strongest, uh, probably one of the strong, strongest game watches in um, America to be honest. I mean, they're really actually any no super notable game in watches that we have in the U.S. Like the only one that people really know is Gimmer. Um, besides that, we have um, uh, I forget, a Reggie in, uh, from Mexico. So exactly. well, unfortunately, yeah, we are. Really don't get to see all of that much uh, gaming watch here in the States, but it's definitely cool to see Strobix come out here. Always puts in a lot of work, made it on our PR as well. So let's see what he can bring to this uh, matchup, but right now it's just not looking too good for him. Yeah, and I think it's like he said, um, I mean, a gaming watch may not just have the tools enough to handle Rosalina. Um, I mean, he, he, was, he was able to take care of Luma there er earlier, but... Uh, I mean, it was after after a minute already went by, I was able to take care of her. So, from what I've noticed, he doesn't have any moves that immediately knock away Luma. The only move I haven't seen him use is uh, Nair and Fair. We'll have to see how those fare against Luma. But for the most part, he has to get um, he has to get some damage on Luma before she can even be knocked away. Because um, the only move that he used before that knocked her was up smash. And it's not saying you can't just like run up to Luma and up smash it. It doesn't work like that. Exactly. And I mean, probably knowing... Okay, so Bear does do There it is, yeah. Ooh, okay. So Strobe is going to be able to take a stock off here. There, Ooh, there it is, okay. there it is. Very nice play from Strawbakes, but he has to be very careful. He, he is at 104%, so one solid grab from Rosa and followed up into a combo. Honestly, any hit from Luma should kill Game Watch at this point. Being one of the lightest characters in this game, he's always got to watch out. Um, the thing is, it is Game & Watch. He always has that factor of just getting a 9 and winning the set. So definitely, uh, Topian Ray has to be uh, cautious as well. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting too is because of the color that Game & Watch, uh, Strobish did to try to um, decide to choose for Game & Watch, one he always uses, um, the white one, it's extremely hard to tell when he's invulnerable and when he's not. Exactly. So yeah. definitely a tricky thing. I think um, I think basically every single Game & Watch player uses this color as well. So. Then if you're getting watch, but you definitely use this color just to throw off your opponent as much as possible. Oh, oh just missed that girl. And he got the nine! Oh my oh god! My god. And he gets it! What? <laughs> oh my god! Go. CFL SmackDown 100, the time oh, of pop ups, guys. Yeah, literally every single to the literally, like, every as single clutch factor that has happened as you has said it, happened. This is commentator's curse, guys. <laughs> we are deeply sorry. We we created. I'm not, I'm we, not sorry at all. Uh, we I created mean, just a chaos here. <laughs> you literally said a nine, and he gets it. I felt like he heard your words, and you channeled the powers of RNG. And he took game one. Iron wow. Jesus is with us today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. This for sure. Is SmackDown 100, the time of RNGs, guys. So we're on the second game between Strobix and Utopian Ray. And I don't know if you guys can tell, I am pumped to see how this match is going to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing interesting to note is that uh, Utopian Ray did decide to take it back to Smash Roll for the run back. Definitely didn't do bad at all. Was putting in a lot of work. But it seemed like Strobix was just adjusting to what Utopian Ray wanted to do. I figure... Um, I feel like taking uh, 
Game & Watch to a tri-platform stage would have been more of a benefit to him, um, if anything. That way, easier to catch Game & Watch's landing. And the other thing, too, is because Rose is so strong, it's not like uh, he's going to be dying any later as well. So, um, he wouldn't even have to worry about the larger blast zones. Yeah. That too, and I see Strobix using um, Nair and Up Air a bit more this time around. Mm -hmm. They're doing an excellent job of um, taking care of Ruma. Unfortunately, not able to kill her just um, just yet right there. Okay, able to get the okay. yeah, alright. Isolating Luma here. So seeing that Strobix is realizing that he's gonna have to get rid of Luma, like he can't really risk having Rosa with Luma here. Mm -hmm. So and. If he keeps up this pace, it's it's actually working out for him here. Yeah, the biggest thing that I'm noticing now is that... Oh, okay, so it looks like Jab will be able to take care of Luma extremely well, so... Definitely looking to see, um... Uh, strip and see that side. Wow. That's gonna take him. Not taking him. Oh, and, uh, popping off for his boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to see, uh... Topian Red just win that F smash. Oh, just missed that F smash. That would've been... That would be huge for him, just whenever you get rid of Luma. Exactly. It's such an important factor in this matchup. So Utopian was trying to have some aerial pressure there, but Strobix landed very carefully. You know, one thing I've definitely noticed from Utopian compared to that first game is he's adjusted himself to Strobix's rhythm. Not letting himself get caught by all these options that Strobix is throwing out. Because he's able to just um, space up properly just to be outside of range to get punished. Exactly. And then just um, getting Strobix whenever he throws out those options. And there goes Strobix just <laughs> taking care of Luma. Oh man, he really doesn't want Luma here. Oh, I don't think anybody ever does when they're fighting against her. Oh, it, that. Oh, okay. Good wow, thing. And there it but is. That's good okay. <laughs> <laughs> Strobix, come on, man. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta make yourself feel good with a good old top. That's true. But Strobix is being actually pretty lucky there. Not getting spiked by that dare earlier. Alright, so Strobix is now in a juggle situation. Utopia might have the right idea, but uh, Game Watch just has too much aerial mobility for that to uh, connect. Oh, and, and that's got it. called out right there with that wow. smash. He definitely probably wanted to stall out to see what Utopian Ray may throw out, but Utopian yeah. Ray was like, we can stay here all day, but if we stay here too long, I'm going to yeah. have my response here. You know, so. He just waited for the right moment for Strobix to let his guard down and just threw it out. Strobix didn't have the reaction to respond to that. So we're taking this to game three, and we're seeing a lot of game threes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, man. Sure. It's like... Okay. Oh, everybody should just challenge each other. Like, I feel like every single game set we've watched so far has had, like, one super clutch game. Exactly. Every single time. Just, like, exactly. bring it out of nowhere, just, like, bam, they're gone. <laughs> we'll see, because I don't know. I really can't say who probably has the potential to win. I feel like both players have already showed they can both equally and respectively take this game. So we'll see. Maybe Strobix may take it, or maybe Utopian Ray will take this game too. But it seems that oh, Ray has that's... the dominance here. Yeah, no. Ray just gave him no very, options right yeah, there. Yeah, very early kill. Oof. But if these sets repeat themselves like they have, we're going to see some super jank way for this to end. It's either like Strobix is going to die at like. like no, no. It's like uh, somebody's going to die at like 3%, or there's going to be a 9. It's going to be something weird like that. But wow. we're beyond that point. And Utopian Ray definitely wants to get that U air kill. He really wants that up air kill. And I mean, I want to say this stage is probably a good stage for Rosalina, surprisingly. Because mm -hmm. there's no platforms to stop any options, really. So, I mean, he can follow up with a lot of options. Yeah, no, he's just getting this juggle game um, down pat extremely well. Ooh, he wanted to get that. He wanted to get rid of Luma there, but fortunately, he's not going to be able to do it. Actually, that was really dangerous for Strobix. He reset Luma there with that um, one exactly. tap he did on the air. Damn. That should be it. And there it is. Yep. The grab release into the up smash. I was waiting for it. Definitely waited for Luma t uh, to position very properly. And that was it. That was it. And I mean, Strobix really, he couldn't really do much there in that situation. Oh, no, yeah, no. He was just like, he got juggled and that was it. Yeah. So my prediction was completely wrong. <laughs> 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 no okay. joke at all. Wow, but I mean, game one. Yeah, no, game one. Game one, that was. Got the nine. That was amazing. That was amazing, game one. Like, that that got me super pumped. I was. That nine. Out of all of the RNGs. <laughs> Three turnups, that. Rolling ball placements. Exactly. And then that 